hello my people welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here please consider subscribing like share comment and uh, stay tuned so my name is Samuel by the way and today I j just decided to take you to the actual grounds where the movie out of Africa was shot from that is Karen Brixen and um, I want to give you a little fact file some information so that you can be a bit knowledgeable when you're coming to visit this place so uh, Karen Brixen was constructed in 1912 by a Swedish architect Ake Sogren and uh, Karen and her husband that is that is Blixen Barol bought this farm at mm, June uh, 1917 and it became a farm house for the uh, 4,500 acres of land and of which 6,600 acres of land they converted it into a coffee farm that is coffee arabica one of the best coffees that you can find or you can ever consume so i want i will give you a, i will take you around show you the coffee and some of the information as other things so and uh, uh karen and her and her husband split after eight years and boron went back to sweden and uh, after their separation barrel left all the duties may it be farm organization hand picking financial crisis to current to take care of them and uh, in 1965 or no 1964 when kenya gained independent the danish government took uh, to its hands and bought this farm farmhouse and gifted uh, gifted it to the kenyan government as an independent gift and before that uh, before karen uh, went back to to die or to sweden or dutch i can't remember the name this house has been sporadically occupied by different peoples until the time when the danish government bought this farmhouse and gifted it to the kenyan government as a as an independent gift so stay tuned and remember please to subscribe like share so that i can be recommended to so many pages and uh, so that i can grow on youtube so i want to take you through show you around show you the machineries and all sort of things so stay tuned oh my people my people my people this is the the architectural design all the farm land map you can see I'm not able to explain everything to you because it's time consuming and it will take a lot of time. And uh, this is how the outside looks like. This was uh -huh, Abdel Nasir or something, a Muslim. He was a lawyer. He was a lawyer here in Kenya and also became a lawyer after serving here. He also became a lawyer in Somalia. So, and uh, this is Kalen and her pet. So, unfortunately, my people are not allowed to take pictures inside. So, it's so unfortunate. And the other side is the souvenir house or souvenir, souvenir shop. So, it's so unlucky. So, my people, this was the most beautiful woman and her name she she was called jerry and uh this is what them you no know, she painted this because uh, karen painted this picture because uh, jerry was very beautiful and uh, the her, her brand price was like 200 goods and that was very expensive so you can also decide to buy some souvenirs here outside you can see Unfortunately, my people, you are not allowed to take pictures of that, so next time, it's wise you come and visit here and see it for yourself using your own eyes.
since Karen was a frowlist, she decided to plant this amazing, amazing garden of flowers, as you can see. And there are some of the, there's some trees that she planted around here, you can see. Let me show you. This is an Andy flame. And uh, from what I've learned, I've learned that these trees were, have a lifespan, a lifespan of 100 and something years. As far as I know, this is an amazing path you can see. And uh, again, this is the field. By the way, if you have an event, you want to have a birthday party, a wedding, an event, any event, you can hire this ground and perform all your events here. So let me take you to where my Karen used to write some of the things, some of the writings where he, she used to write them from. some information like so Karen used to sit here when he is administering medicine to the Rocco who used to be on this field and uh, I like some of the informations as you can see from here this is where she used to sit overlooking to the gong hills you cannot see gong hills right now since the trees are very tall and very long so guys now i'm just about to show you the 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 example or a sample of coffee that uh, karen planted on his on her 600 acres of land so this is the coffee arabica one of the best coffees that you can find in kenya so let me show you how they're done so uh, these bellies are just green they are green but when they are about to ripen they become yellow and when they are ripe and they are already already ready to be handpicked they turn red and i've already shown you or maybe i will show you later in the in the video how this coffee was refined was refined so that's the best coffee coffee arabica the best coffee that you can ever find let me go take you to the to the uh, coffee farming equipment so my people these are examples of the tools that karen and her husband used during their stay here in their farm and uh, to do all the farming activities so let me just show you some of the their names this is a tufalo plow and it was designed just to be used in east african uh, terrain since it's very lightweight and it can perform so well so this is a tufalo plow you can see those who by the way those people who uh, studied agriculture if you watch this you understand what i say by two fallow plow and uh this one here i think uh, this one is a wagon this one is a wagon that she used to transport her coffee product from the farm to maybe to the refine or maybe to the factory or to the cons to the consumers it was um, pulled by maybe oxen or maybe horses i'm not sure about that but if you know please just give this uh, just come down to the comment box and uh, tell me how this thing used to work so these are the wagons you can tell
they seem to be very very old and uh, something that i've noticed is that they were made from timber i think this is timber maybe and uh, some kind of metal and uh whoa let me see this this is a truck this is the tractor let me see a 1922 fordson tractor model f by 1920s by 1920s tractor such as this had been introduced in the european farms the unique features of this tractor are the steel wheels which metal crates at the rear so these are the this is the tractor that he used during his farming or her farming you can see this is where he used to sit and this is the steering and uh, you can see it's literally made from metal and some metallic maybe trends these ones for it not to get stuck during the farming process or maybe get stuck during the rainy season wow so this is an amazing history to know about this the lord son truck wow And from the far, you can see the house, how it used to stand. So please, 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 people, give this video a like, a thumbs up. Tell me how you find this video. Come into my con uh, comment section and tell me what do you think about this. And please like, share, comment, so that this video can be recommended to other pages. And let me blow up my people please consider subscribing share comment yeah so my people i'm just going to take you to the coffee machine plant where i used to grind and uh yeah the the coffee berries <laughs> let's go So my people, this is the coffee plant where I used to grind, wash, and uh, dry the coffee. My people, I'm just here at uh, Karen's coffee plant, which you was constructed by he was assisted by his brother that is thomas 1921 to 1923 so i just want to take you through very quickly and uh, explain to you how this thing worked so after hand picking the berries from the farm he used to put them here and this uh, this machine used to go around and spin to remove the coffee the coffee skin and after here here's uh, this one this was the blower this was the blower where the could uh, put the water here inside this big big huge pipe or maybe do you call it a turbine and uh, the other one was the source of heat whereby you could uh, dry the coffee berries and uh, the other side this was the dryer this was the dryer whereby he used to put the coffee, the refined coffee berries from here 
and then this is the where you could get, get the final product of the coffee berries after being uh, removed the skin, dried and washed. Then after that, they are taken and uh, transported to the, the finally or maybe to the to the consumers. I as I may say that. So I want to take you to the. I show you the coffee berries. Show how show you how they are hand picked and the wagons that she used to she used to cultivate the farm with. So for your information, the reason as to why he did this. He could not uh, afford to dry the coffee bellies for the 21 days. So this one took only for 48 hours to go. 58 hours. 24, 24? 24. 24 hours. No, this one, uh, it could only take 24 hours to dry, refine, and uh, do all stuff from here. This was a very amazing place. You can see there is still cool and uh, a very nice place to be around and uh, experience the history of this place.